Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and we're up here in Cass City, Michigan. It's up in the Thumb area, for those of you who are not from Michigan. So we're here at the Hillendale General Hospital, and we've got a unique site here that the hospital is looking to create a little sanctuary for uh, either employees and or uh, patients that are here, maybe even their families as well. This hospital here, we've got some administrative offices up and through here, two floors, got a nice hillside. So what they're planning on doing, they got to cut a sidewalk in here, come around. This whole flat area here will be all patio with some seating, um, flower boxes, uh, landscape beds. This is our scope over here. So we're going to do a 45 foot long waterfall that twists and turns, comes down into a hidden basin. It's going to be a pondless waterfall. We're going to have lights, so we're going to light it up at night because you know hospitals, they don't sleep. So there's people here all the time. I think the talk was they were gonna punch a hole in that wall over there to have a door so people could come out. What a nice sight though. We don't get to work with hillsides like this very often. So it's nice to be able to recreate something right at the crest of that hill, twisting and turning, have some nice significant drops in here. And the sound is just gonna reverberate off of these walls and people are going to enjoy it. Stay tuned. We'll be up here in a few weeks. We're going to get started. Six months later. Okay, so I'm back up here in Cass City, Michigan. I'm over here at uh, Hills and Dales Hospital Facility. I'm meeting with a contractor in a couple minutes. So we're going to review the project. We're going to be doing uh, pondless waterfall. And at the end of the pondless waterfall, we're going to have some basalt stones. So we're going to run through his plan. And then we're going to come up with a logistic way to get this project going all right so we're gonna head over to uh, Justin's house Justin is the designer he's also the contractor who's going to be doing a lot of the uh, the hardscaping and I believe he is going to be doing some of the landscaping as well so he's got a digital design that I really want you to see and we're gonna go over to his house we're gonna take a look at it on the computer and see what it's all about all right let's go <laughs> I'm here right now with Justin. Justin is the main designer for this project. He's also the contractor who's gonna be doing the hardscapes. He's gonna be doing the patio that's uh, barrier free um, and contracting out the, uh, the subcontractor to do a bridge over our waterfall as well. So Justin and I are gonna go through the design that he's got as, on his computer. How's it going, Justin? Good, how are you? Good, so you've got a design for us that you kind of laid out and wow this is so you've got a, a digital design here yep. so if you want to walk us through a little bit on it <clears throat> yeah so obviously this is all going to be concrete and we talked with the hospital and we're going to do a wood plank stamps all the concrete here and uh, we're doing all the plantings row of uh, hedges here for privacy and then putting in the two tier limestone retaining walls uh, and also you got some uh, planting beds for the patients to plant uh, different things that they just want to you know people so they can work with their hands and uh, whatnot just to kind of get them moving for the, the therapy part of it so what I'm seeing here is he's this is where we're going to be starting our waterfall here we'll probably come up to the crest of the hill because it makes more sense just to start at the top of a hill so it's kind of hidden we'll dig it all out make it real wide and then what we're got is we coming down here he's got a, a a wood bridge here that's uh barrier free people can just roll across the patio area and then at the end down in through here we're going to do three basalt stone uh columns that are in this lower area just so there's a little bit of action and movement in it down there as well really nice design I like how you put this all together it helps helps the customer helps me uh, visualize what's in your head so that way uh, we're on the same page yeah it's kind of hard to stand there talking about it and it's a lot better to lot, uh, see it in 3d so you can kind of get a feel for what we're working with here yeah so. it's amazing I mean we used to just draw these things out um, <laughs> you know and sometimes just put them on uh, get a garden hose out <laughs> right <laughs> and uh, you know things have come a long way oh yeah yeah so that's pretty much 
pretty much it. So time frame on this project, um, we're looking at a, at least another month before um, our two schedules can kind of coincide with each other. Um, everybody's busy this time of year. But what we're doing is um, we're strategically um, doing my schedule, his schedule, so he can come in, set some grades. Once those grades are set, um, we'll come in maybe a week later and we're gonna get started doing our thing. Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens and you're watching our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. So today we are coming to you from Cass City, Michigan. It's up in the thumb area, so right up and through here. Not quite to the tip of the thumb, close enough. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating uh, a pondless waterfall for a healing garden at a local hospital up here. Now, I'll turn the camera around. Let's go through that project. So they are all ready for us up here. In fact, they've got a sign up here, future home of the Hills and Dale Healing Garden. Now this is a hospital up here. The idea of this, this is all gonna be patio up and through here. And you guessed it, down this hillside, we're gonna create a, a waterfall that comes down intersects into the patio there'll be a bridge over our river to get to the other side now there'll be benches and planter boxes and everything else all along the the building here itself those are going to be planter boxes that are going to be constructed he's got all this area cut out because this was a hillside that came in and you can see the brick line on the building that's the height so they cut out about three or four feet of uh, filled or soils that were in here now they're going to have a stamped concrete patio in here. I believe the curb is going to be cut. This will all be, uh, the parking won't be here anymore. But, and we'll do a follow up when all this is all done. I, I'm assuming it's going to be a couple months. This is a project that's been in the works for approximately, I think I was called in about two and a half years ago. So everything's finally coming to fruition and the dreams are gonna happen. It's time for us to make some magic. We're gonna get set up, we gotta get a lot of work. So down in through here, we're gonna have a hidden basin that's underneath here. So we'll have all of our aqua blocks in here, our pump vaults, They'll, they're gonna bring electricity over to us. Over and through here, there'll be a bridge. If you're familiar with uh, Barrier Free, anybody in a wheelchair can come out here, go right across the bridge. So it'll be a smooth transition, no, um, no bumps, no, uh, roadblocks for anybody in a wheelchair they can get through there won't be any uh, any hindrances for them now um, the landscaper slash concrete guy he's doing retaining wall outcroppings along here that's going to intersect with our boulder work here and then that will continue along down it in through there now he'll do several plantings will complement and help soften the area. The purpose of a healing gar garden, as you may have guessed, is it's a place for people to come while they're in the hospital and maybe just kind of get outdoors during the warm weather months. What's nice about the pondless waterfall that we're going to create is it can run 24 7, even in the wintertime. So, can you imagine just not only in the summer having our waterfalls coming down here, so can you imagine having, uh, not only during the summertime, but during the wintertime, having ice form off of our waterfalls and having illumination or lights behind those waterfalls and highlighting everything. It's gonna be a pretty cool project. I'm very proud of to be involved with this, so let's get started. <laughs> up here in Cass City, Michigan. Uh, 
about an hour and a half away from uh, where we're from. <laughs> I'm just sitting here on my aqua blocks, being lazy. That's what I do, you know. Just be lazy. Turn you around. Way up there. Look at that piece of shit. Just digging a hole, putting dirt there, from over there. That's what we do. Seriously though, what we're doing, or what we've gotten done so far, is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Basin here, pump vaults, down there, two pumps, aqua blocks there, there, and there. 14 of them. That's uh, a little more than double the amount that we actually need as far as water storage, but that's what we want. Um, he's doing up there is starting to carve out the stream starting way up there gonna be cut into the uh, hillside there which is pretty cool um, it's gonna come this way through where the machine is right through and in here into the basin across right there I'm sure you've already heard there's gonna be a bridge all this is gonna be patio um, and plantings and stuff like that. Um, everything's gonna be pretty low profile so that it's uh, wheelchair accessible. Um, since this is a hospital, uh, they want this to be the future home of the healing garden. And we're glad to be part of that. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much where we're at right now, and we'll give you an update later. Good boulder dump, right? <laughs> 